What is far deadlier than most people realize? Serious? Foraging for edible plants in the wild. Many edible plants have poisonous lookalikes. Is that a wild grape or a moonseed? Is that a morel or a false morel? Make a mistake and you're very sick or dead. People think they can read one article about edible plants and then just be going out picking plants to eat in the wild to get back to nature. Even seasoned naturalists can make a mistake, and you're not wiser or more resilient than poisonous plants. Plus, if you are lost, hungry, and foraging, you'll likely burn more calories hunting for plants to eat than you'll forage. Even if you're lucky and you don't off yourself, you might get really sick and end up dehydrated due to vomiting or diarrhea. Even if you totally luck out and find a safe plant to eat, you'll have wasted energy you should be using to find slash collect water and possibly also building a shelter, depending on your situation. Stick to your vegetable gardens and whole foods, folks. To add on to this one, driving with wee dogs on your lap. Airbag goes off and the last thing that goes through your mind is fluffy. Stress. Tylenol overdose. More than 4 grams of Tylenol, 8 extra strength tablets, in 24 hours can cause liver damage and even death. Rusty sharp objects. Ugly scaring and the best kind of blood poisoning you can have. Not sleeping enough. Four wheelers. Every year several kids die in accidents with these things in my community but no one seems to stop giving their 14 year old keys to one. It doesn't make any sense. Holding your breath while scuba diving. To most people who don't scuba dive it may sound harmless but if you hold your breath and ascend even a little over a meter you can suffer major lung damage as a result of the gas in your lungs expanding from the lessening pressure. Driving. Hippos, they could kill you so fucking easy and will do, they are homicidal as hell. Mosquitoes they sometimes have diseases that are fatal. Cigarettes and vapes they cause a lot of damage to you not only to your lungs but a lot of your organs, skin, teeth and general way of living just because you can't see the damage most of the time doesn't mean it's not there and you can develop diseases that can't be cured like COPD which my mother died from cause she smoked please take care of yourself. Doing unpredictable things around semi-trucks. Toxic relationships. Backslash, coconuts backslash, 150 per year. Spoiled food. You cannot cook away botulism toxins and it's one of the deadliest toxins around. Xanax and any booze with it. Rags soaked in linseed oil and other oil-based stains, paints, and varnishes can spontaneously combust. Some people throw them in the trash, they catch fire and before you know it, the whole building is on fire. Wild animals, every now and then you see a post on r slash or about how a tiger is just another kitten, it's not. Wild animals are wild, they can and have killed well intending humans. They should be left alone in the wild. Paper cuts, you can die from the infection. Swimming in water that is too cold. Hypothermia sets in quickly. If you're in the middle of a lake and it sets in, you could, theoretically, die before you make it to shore. A focus on comfort. I know someone whose dad ignored a cavity for a while and it developed into a brain infection. They ended up doing a risky surgery that left the dad almost completely brain dead and needing 24 hours care. Made me set up a dentist appointment the next day when I was told. Hence the game Oregon Trail, you died from dysentery. Hate. Alcohol. Carbon monoxide. Seriously kills a lot of people every year. Misinformation. Addiction. Escalators. If the edge of your pants get caught in there it can be extremely dangerous. BB guns. One wrong shot and you may have blinded the other person. Fresh water. You know how, if someone half drowns in a movie or something, they get pulled out of the water and then they're given CPR or whatever and they cough up a bunch of water and turn out to be okay? Yeah, so, that's only a thing in salt water. Someone who inhales fresh water like that will probably just die, but very few people realize this difference. It has to do with osmosis. When you inhale water, 
the cells in your lungs try to equalize the salt levels in the water inside and outside your cells. The water in your cells is typically pretty full of electrolytes, so it's relatively salty. If you inhale salt water, there's a pretty decent chance that the water in your cells will be around the same saltiness as the water you just inhaled. So the amount of water that gets moved into or out of your cells is fairly limited, meaning there isn't really any instant damage. But if the water you inhale is fresh, then suddenly there's extremely low salt content water outside the cell and fairly high salt content water inside the cell. So water rushes into the cell to dilute the high salt content water in an attempt to make it the same amount of salty as the water outside the cell. This is bad, because it means the cell will burst. Your lungs are damaged severely from pretty much the moment you inhale fresh water, and it doesn't really matter if you get the water back out again because your lungs are fucked up and you won't be able to breathe anyway. And this isn't an attempt to scare people off of swimming in lakes or anything. But you should realize that there are dangers involved in activities on fresh water that just aren't present when you're on salt water. And that almost every single film and TV show in existence will depict a drowning as if it were in salt water, regardless of what type of water they're actually in. Swimming pools. Kangaroos. Even wallabies. I had wallabies in my backyard in Sydney. I used to feed them and we were all cool. Then one time making babies grow up strong season came and this one wallaby was not super cool with me. He was way more buff than me. I went inside and made sure the door was closed proper. Garage door springs. Running in the house. When I was 8 or 9 we had some party guest over and I was playing with my friends. We were acting stupid and running in the living room and I tripped and cut the side of my neck pretty badly on the coffee table. We went to the hospital and I had to get stitches. Luckily nothing bad happened but still could have been way worse. Regular rubber balloons. Many children die or have brain damage due to lack of O2. I don't have numbers but this is due to suffocation when they pop in the child's face and part of the balloon shoots in their mouth, blocking their airway. Nutmeg. Moose. They come off as gentle giants but they will fuck you up if they really want to. Sleeping. 70% of the fatal dog attacks in the US this year alone have been from pit bulls, hundreds of times a year they'll just randomly snap and maul a child or elderly owner. You don't tend to see many obese elderly people. Lack of sleep. Increased risk of basically everything you can think of, not to mention that accidents are far more common when you're tired. The less sleep you get, the shorter your lifespan. Snoring. Coconuts. Anything spinning. Usually in farms or machine shops. A PTO will grab a string off your jacket and throw you. A lathe will spin you into a bloody mess. Hair up. Sleeves up. No loose strings. No bracelets. And on PTOs especially, use a guard. You were down voted first being correct, yay reddit. Driving while tired. All you need is that one slow part, or that one part that lulls even a little to put you out. Sepsis is the number one cause of death in hospitals. Choking and hair pulling. Seriously your neck is delicate. Removed. Electricity. You don't know how sensitive your heart is to being shocked, and how conductive your skin is, and the exact path that electricity will take in your body. It do not take much current flowing through to your heart to have some effect on it. Often it recover, but not always. But the main problem is, even if it did recover right now, it can still fail a few hours later. Think of any of your other muscles. If you overstress them, they will immediately be fine, but wait in a few hours or tomorrow and they will hurt. And if you keep using it you will damage them. Your heart is the same. By being shocked you overstressed it, and later on it can show the signs. But unlike your arm, you can not let it relax, so. Yeah, it failed. And you die. Doing cocaine on birth control pills. Seen 20 somethings wind up with strokes and DVTs. Mosquitoes. They kill more people than any other animal. Also putting kegs on the fire. That will straight up explode like a bomb if you do that. So don't. 
social media. Water. Backslash don't drink enough and you die. Backslash drink too much and you die. Backslash breathe in even a little bit and you can die. Backslash drink the wrong kind of water and you die, sea water almost untreated water these days backslash water moves too fast and you can die, rivers and ocean currents backslash water at pressure can cut as fast as a power saw or laser, apply that to a person and they die. Backslash water in the air can hasten the breeding of any number of very toxic microorganisms. We'll be right back.